all right guys so let's start where we stopped last time in this video we will save our data to database that is firebase and also we will we will handle this context awaiting confirmation awaiting name awaiting email all right so for this final confirmation intent we want to send response through webhook so delete this response enable uh, i already enabled it so save it all right so before moving we have to check that we are live or not so run the application docs.js let's test it so it's at localhost but it's not public so we want to connect it through dialog so open a new tab and call ngrock http and the port number our port number is 3333 so it will generate a custom link so copy link go to the dialog flow the fulfillment section paste it here so replace this link save it and we can see that we are live here so we are live so let's go in the previous video we set our demo intent so let's test it clarify that we are live so right here demo so as you can see we are live so so we want our final confirmation response through webhook so copy this name and let's create a new function for this Alright, so I want some response. Let's save it. Yeah. But in the final context, we want a user's name and user's email. So let's define a username, which is agent. Dot. Context. dot get and here goes the name of the context so our context name is awaiting name if you are little bit confused uh, you can check my previous videos where we defined context as awaiting name so dot parameter so oh, let's let's skip it this and for email agent dot context dot get awaiting email all right so let's add let's print out this data so print out name and print out email so this print will return object and we will find our desired value through this object so let's save it and let's test it we start the server and let's go to the website so i want to meeting i want to meet here now my name is rohit so my email is rohit@gg.com so let's confirm the booking so it's saying the dummy response that we set here but before it we define to print out so let's check them so the first awaiting name is sending uh, this object so where we want to take this name so name so this object dot parameter dot given name and in the email section this dot parameters dot email so let's save it like that dot parameter dot given name all right so let's save it and test it again so now if i say So 
for your first book this session it's saying that in this sense and if I check here so I got the both values Rohit and Rohit uh, Rohit and the email all right so our first step of this tutorial is done so now we want to save these these two data in the database so that I can check okay, whomever want to contact me all right. all right guys let's set up database so go to the firebase go to the console and create a new project so create it so add a new project and maybe a name it as a st bot Your default account create a project like it will take 10 to 15 seconds all right so let's continue all right so add database and create a database so we are in test mode so we can test it So we are in the Asia or just so all right our database is done so we can start collection here or we will start collection through the code all right so let's go to the setting project settings and the service accounts go here and download a JSON file of credentials. All right, we are in Node.js, so generate new private key. Also copy this code, we will use this code here. So let's copy this code and paste it right here. So we need, we need to install Firebase admin. So let's go to server and install npm install Firebase admin. So let's install the Firebase admin and so here is the service account it contains path to the service account key that json will download it so this json all right so copy this json here i prefer to uh, paste this in the config folder all right so create a new folder config and paste this into the config folder so that is installed well, let's uh, require the file here so in the config right this file but also we want to add this initial app in a try catch block so that if I if our code crash somewhere so we can get that our code is all right in the try block we want to add this all right so now we want to initialize our db so initialize a variable db here so db is admin dot Firestore. So Firestore is our database. So we are using Fire Cloud Firestore instead of Realtime DB. That's more reliable. All right. That's okay. So we initialize our database. So let's go here, and we want to save this name and email data in our database. So we want to return db dot collection and we want to create a collection so let's call it meeting dot add and we want to add a json where name is name so this name is the bullet so this name is the name of the this data and this name is coming from here all right you can add this name as the name one 
yeah but that's all right second one is email and third one is time so for the time you can add like date dot now so this will save as a current time so when the user hit this request confirm that time we are saving in the database all right and then we want to add a reference let's say meeting details added to tp also like we can we can run more queries here like fetching free slots from calendar yeah. that's it let's save it and restart our server so server is live also we want to add something here so that way we know that we are connected to db Restart the server. So we are connected to DB and our server is live. Alright, so let's test it. So if I say meeting, so my name is Rohit, my email is Rohit S17. So that's my original email from my server. Yes, please confirm them with me. And our code, and we can say there is a dummy response. So, meeting details added to DB, and now let's check DB. So, refresh it. Then we can see a new collection created meeting, and we can check the data as well. It's taking time. Yeah, so we can check it so this time we can convert this time to any time like we can convert this time to the date month and uh, day wise yeah but no problem in that we can do it anytime all right so everything is finished here so we saved our data to database also we want to uh, instead of dummy response we want to set that hello and here goes the name of the user and we want to add email here all right so let's save it and test it one more time So let's refresh it. <laughs> so if I say meeting, so my name is Rohit, email is Rohit at the rate google.com. Yes, please confirm the meeting. So it's saying we confirm the meeting. Alright, so we can check in the database as well. So, we, yeah, so no need to reload here. It's dynamic. Alright, so uh, our first series we are building chatbot for, for my portfolio is completed. So, I will add this code to the GitHub so that you can check the code as well. Alright, guys, so that's it for this series. The